Hello and welcome to another video on how to use Mobilock Pro to manage your devices. In this video, we would see how to enroll your Android device using your sign-in credentials. For the sake of demo, I already have created a Mobilock account and I have downloaded the Mobilock Pro client from Google Play Store on this device and I have launched the Mobilock Pro application. If, however, you don't have access to Google Play Store on your device, you can install the Mobilock Pro client using the direct APK that is available on the dashboard. Now, once you have launched the application, click on Enroll, click on Sign In, I'll go ahead and enter my sign in credentials here. Once the credentials are entered, click on the Done button. At this point, Mobilock Pro would ask you the permission to make and manage phone calls. Don't worry, we are asking you this permission to grab the IMEI from the device so that it can be displayed to you on the dashboard. However, we don't make any phone calls from the device. Click on Allow if you want the IMEI. You can also deny if you don't want it. Clicking on Allow would perform the signing and if the credentials are valid, you would be taken to a screen where you are asked to enter the name of the device. Let me go ahead and enter the name of the device. Once you enter the name, if you have already created a device group or a device profile on the dashboard, you would be asked to select the device profile or enter the group key. I'll go ahead and select the profile. Once I click on submit, you are taken to the permission screen. Permissions are a collection of mandatory and basic permissions that are required for the optimal performance of Mobilock. You have to click on the toggle button next to each permission which would take you to the system screen and then give each one of the permissions. Let's go ahead and activate device admin. I click on the toggle, I click on OK, scroll down and click on activate. Similarly for usage access, I click on the toggle, find Mobilock Pro in the system settings screen and I give the permission. Once you give the permission, click on the back key so that you come back to the permission screen. Note that the screens might be different from device to device, but the idea is to click on the button, find Mobilock Pro app and enable it for a particular permission, like I have just done for notification access. The unknown sources is required so that Mobilock can install your enterprise apps that you upload to the Mobilock Enterprise Store. Once you are done, scroll down, click on the overlay permission, grant that, give the permission to write system settings. This completes the mandatory permissions. Clicking on next would show you all the runtime permission that the device would require or the Mobilock would require for optimal performance. Click on grant and you would be see, shown the device level permissions. Click on allow on each one of them. Once done, you would see the green ticks next to each one of them. Click on next and you would reach the last section of permissions. Here, you are asked to set up Mobilock as the default home launcher of the device so that Mobilock can lock down the device into the kiosk mode. Click on set up Mobilock Pro. If your device has a default launcher other than uh, the Mobilock Pro, you might see a screen which would ask you to clear the defaults. In that case, follow the in on-screen instructions. If you see a screen like this, click on Mobilock Pro and click on Always. As you would see, once done, I can see all the applications that I have allowed in the device profile. Now, coming to the dashboard, you see that once the device is locked, if you are subscribed to EVA, you would see an EVA notification. Also, if you refresh the devices page, you would see the newly enrolled device on the dashboard. This completes the successful enrollment of a device. You can click on the device to see the device information that of the device that you have freshly enrolled. If you are looking to enroll your devices using QR code or Android for Work method, please refer to other help videos that explain how to enroll using QR code or AFW method. Thank you.